hello 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 welcome to my channel yes right now this is a live but if you have tuned in after the re live was recorded come on and finish watching the live i will be doing some patches today so i'm gonna sit and wait for some people to come on when you come on say hello and where you're from i forgot to put my little um earbuds in whatever they call it. hello 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 I don't see any comments yet. Let's wait till some people come in. Okay, hello, Kenya. Hey, Sonya. Just jumping on live today. Hey, Diane. Hey, LaShonda. Hey, T Tanya, Tawana. Hey, Ebony, Angela. Angel, I'm sorry. Barbara, Barbet, Felicia, Carolyn, Lenise, Juanita. Colors and more. Dems, hey, Dems, hey, hey. Hey, Cassie, Ashley, Nisi, Natasha, Kenyatta, Trakia. Sorry if I'm missing your names, but. Hey, hey, Calvin. Hey, she doing it. She doing it. I like that. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. I got 44 people on here, people coming in. I like, I got three likes. Can y'all like me? Can y'all like me, please? Do y'all like me? Can y'all like me? Hey. Um, first of all, let me tell y'all something. Girl, I just threw this braid up in here. Just something to put it, just something to get done. I know I'll be on here all long today because I have somewhere to be at three o'clock. So somebody, one of my men, men, one of my um, I wanna say mentors, moderators, let me know when it's two o'clock. I might not be on it's 12 20 40 it's 12 44 here so i ain't gonna be there that long but i gotta go somewhere i have a meet and greet today because i'm going to jamaica hey i'm going to jamaica soon so we having a meet and greet so we can meet all the ladies that's going so i'm excited about that we having a uh, potluck so y'all like i like to eat so i'm out of here soon so um it's blurry anybody somebody said diane said it's blurry can y'all see me um girl let me tell y'all something real cool so if i look like a clown today my face look like a clown i don't know i i love mary Kay makeup right if i just use foundation right so eyeliner i ain't put my eyeliner on today but cool um i love mary Kay foundation but they changed they i love mary Kay. i love it i love it i used to do mary Kay a long time ago but i love their foundation because it's so natural so they changed their formula so i'm like oh it don't look right so i had to go to um, sephora and get some more makeup and this i don't know if it's it's not blending in too good my skin so i'm trying to figure it out so if i like a clown mistake i didn't just wrong shade or whatever it is so i gotta figure it out i don't know i, I mean i got good skin semi good but i just have light and dark spots i want to cover up you know a little bit of flowers here and there so i like to use foundation every now and then but uh girl i don't know this don't look too good it's not it's not mm. so if i look like a clown I don't think it's on purpose it's an accident and i just had to get on this video oh thank you sure she said it's just fine I gotta get used to it because I love Mary Kay. Mary Kay blend in. It was so smooth and everything. It was nice. But this right here, I don't like it. But yeah, I'm sorry. Little medic, little makeup uh, chaos going on today. So I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm sorry if I look look weird. Thank you, thank you. She says it's fine. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all because I don't know. I was looking in the mirror like, oh, it's not even, even, even. It's not even, even. <laughs> so let me go ahead and share this um, in my group real quick real quick and then i'm going to start doing the patches um let me see what i gotta do i gotta go to youtube first i'll be my mind is off a little bit your channel so how was everybody weekend today is sunday how was the, how was your sunday i was supposed to go to church this morning i'm gonna go ahead and just watch it online get this video out the way i got a busy sunday today and i had to just get this work to get this stuff in before um today because it's due today these patches and stuff so i had to stay home and work let me share this real quick why is it on pause can y'all see me can y'all hear me my computer acting crazy with my phone like it's okay uh copy and then i put it in the group hello hello I need some concealer under these bags. Yeah, I got some bags under my eyes. I don't like all that stuff on my face. I just want to put some foundation on there, some eyeliner, some lip gloss, and be done with it. But like I said, I don't know if this foundation is kind of dry. It looks like it's kind of, I don't know. 
Maybe I ain't put too much on it because when you care, I could just put a little bit. Oh, thanks for the $10 super chat. He said, you are the reason I started. Hold on, let me tell you. You are the reason why I started doing shirts. I just upgraded my heat press. Yay! To a 30 by, oh, 30 by 40 heat press. Good, you go, girl. Girl, that's a big one. Girl, I'm still with the 1624. Is it 1624? You, congratulations, girl. Get it, get it. Kenyatta. Tate, thank you for the $10 super chat. I appreciate you. And good luck. I'm glad I inspired you to do what you do, girlfriend. That makes me so excited that you're getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it. Hey. Um, what are I doing? Oh, just uh, sharing this to my Facebook group. Brown Girls Craft with Cricket is the Facebook group. I'm sharing it on there so everybody know I'm here on live. Um, okay, paper, print, uh, paste it. What the heck? I'm so, I get it so excited when people say I motivate them and I inspire them. I'm glad I do. I do, I do, I do. So I just shared that. Um, okay. Just post it on there. What else I got to do? Uh, okay, like I said, Brown Girls Craft for Cricket is my um group. Um, and also check out my websites, my Etsy pages. Y'all, I'm so grateful for everyone that's um per supporting my business. Let me show y'all my page real quick. Charming Gal Boutique. I don't know why this is here. Um, I have over 429 sales. I've only been doing this for like, i only been having my Etsy page for like, not even a year yet. I don't think it's been a year. If it is a year, it's just a little bit. It's just, you know, a year. So I appreciate you all. I like, I like the stars y'all be giving me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But here, everything I sell, I sell all the, I sell patches. I sell tumblers, more patches. I'm doing these today. Of course, everybody loves Kobe patches. Sorry if y'all can't see that. I got this patch to do too. I got this patch to do today too. Um, more patches. I have, I do the jackets. If y'all want the jackets right here, I do bags, journals, mugs. I got mugs to do before the end of this week. I do all Afro reefs. Those been selling. Oh my God. Those been selling. I do all this stuff. Y'all. I love what I do. I'm, I'm so appreciative of all y'all that support me. Um, as you can see, here's, I'm just showing y'all my site. Check it out. Charming Gal Boutique, number two on Etsy. I do the bling bling glasses. I haven't did those in a while, but when I started doing those, oh my God, those was a big seller. I do the ones with the stems on them too. So I do it all, y'all. I love what I do. I love y'all so for support. I can't say that enough. I do embroidery sweatshirts. I can do. A, I did a video on this too, so check out the videos. I do a video. I've done a video on all this stuff on my site because I make it, and I want y'all to know how to make it too. So go ahead and check out my videos on my YouTube channel. If you're not a um member, I mean, if you're not a um subscriber, please subscribe today. Thank you, Dimp. She got my um. Also have a children boutique on here. Let me show y'all my um children boutique. I just want to put in the plug real quick, 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 quick. Array. Uh, hold on. Array of shine. I don't know why my computer acting crazy. You did it pop up. Watch, I'm gonna better find it. It's what you see pop ups, and I don't know why my computer acting crazy, crazy, crazy. What the heck is it? It's, well, it's a weird array of sunshine, and it's not popping up. It happened like this earlier, but my, my, I couldn't get my boutique on here either, so my computer acting crazy. Let me see if I can do it one more time. Anyway, let me see if I can figure it out real quick. Go ahead and ask me some questions if y'all want to, because this computer, like I said, I couldn't even find my other boosters got just on earlier, and I couldn't find it. It usually come, it usually pop right up. But y'all already know it's a red sunshine. And I don't know if that's my computer, if it's that's if that's Etsy doing it, because I really don't want nobody to not be able to get it to it. Probably because I'm in my um my shop manager. But y'all know what it is. She, um, didn't put the link in there. I also make children clothes. I make the uh, tum, um, the um, the tutus, the tutu socks. Oh my God! Let me show y'all right now. I got orders to do right now. A ribbon with tutu socks. I got this order to make. She wanted burgundy. She wanted um maroon, black, and white. So I got those threads. I mean threads. I got those um, ribbons together. And she wanted the peach teal white, peach teal and white. But it's the ribbons and stuff I'm using for her. So I got those to do. I got a, a Superman shirt to do. This is all a ray of sunshine. I got a Spider-Man shirt to do. Oh, that's why I, I forgot to put 2020 on there, y'all. That's why I couldn't find it. 
still not popping up. Oh, there it is. See, I forgot to put 2020. Girl, I'll be forgetting my sites. Okay, it's a ray of sunshine 2020. Here. I know this um this this store was um inspired by my granddaughter. If y'all don't know me by now, if y'all have been following me, my daughter, my daughter lost her baby. Um, her birthday was 28th. She was um she lost her during um birth. So I made a um her name is Array, Array, Araya. So this basically is the um boutique that I made off my baby angel, Araya Sunshine Boutique, which um uh, um Ray me remembering Araya every day. Her name was Araya. Nicole Ray. Okay, so look at the stuff I make. For, I, I I wanted to make all these clothes for her, but I, now since I can't make it for her, I make it for other people's children, and I love making these. Oh my God, I love making tutus. And like I said, I bought all my stuff, all my sewing machines and stuff, because I wanted to make all her clothes. That's my. I was gonna be that type of grandma. I was gonna make all her clothes. So now I'm making clothes for little kids, and it really inspired me and pushed me to move on. Um, here's the tutu socks. Oh my God, I made so many of these last week. I got some over there that I was supposed to ship out yesterday, and I forgot. So I got to ship them out to, today. Um, these how they look. They're so cute. I could do it all colors. I mean, that's a big sale, y'all. I even make I even make skirts. Um, I sew skirts, so I'm gonna do a video on that too. I'm also doing um I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, y'all. I'm also doing um sewing tutorials in my state. I live in Toledo, Ohio. So I will be doing those coming up soon, beginning of the next month. I will be starting getting those times and stuff out. So if y'all need if y'all wanna do a zoom or if y'all wanna go meet me locally here in Toledo, Ohio. Um, we can meet so just inbox me on facebook charmaine galloway and give me a phone number and i can call you and let you know when the times are coming up i also do mommy and be mommy and me bonnets i do hair bows i do kids masks pillows blankets i do it all y'all i do it all i love doing it here's my granddaughter right there i do the little plaques um yeah this is what i do y'all i have two sites so check me out if you don't order anything just come check me out and if you can just like like my um page right up here where is it oh right here it's the heart give me a heart right here if you can just favor my shop just show me some love y'all show me some love i appreciate it i do it all y'all so again this is a ray of sunshine boutique and it's basically in uh, etsy it's a ray of sunshine 2020. so we back we back we back i have to show you all those i haven't showed y'all my sites in so long so i'm gonna put that up there and like i said i appreciate everyone that's been supporting me i have 84 people um watch this video can i get some more thumbs up i have 30 more thumbs up um that means like the video you got to go out and push like and come back today i'm going to be doing two patches okay i'm not i'm not sure how long it's going to take you to tell me if i put them in, in the um, embroidery machine how long it's going to take and then i'll let you know um if i can do the whole patch because i have somewhere to go i have like i said i have a meet and greet to go to today at three so it shouldn't i shouldn't be that long these are four by four patches so it shouldn't be that long. So the machines I'm using today are the NQ 1600E, which is this baby right here. That's this um, EQ 1600E. That's a brother's machine, okay? And, and you'll see it, so, um, I'll get closer in a minute. Now I'm also using my PE 800 embroidery machine, okay? They both are single needle machines. Um, the first one I showed you, it goes to six by nine. This one right here goes to six by nine um, hoop, and this one goes by a five by seven hoop, okay? I love both of the machines and I also have a big machine over there. I'm sorry, the, the pillow, I'm um, sorry, the, the shirt is covering the machine up, but that's the shirt I'm gonna be using soon for a project I gotta do, a shirt I have to do. But that right there is a six needle and everything else around here. There's a lot of stuff going on around here. Um. So yes, that's my big baby. So, and then I also have a smaller one too over there. It's the, I wouldn't refer that one to you. I wouldn't really tell you to get that one unless you want to do just small baby shirts or five, a small images because it's only four by four. I got that machine because it's a sewing machine slash embroidery machine. And I got that because I didn't know if I was gonna like the embroidery. So I know I definitely want to learn how to sew for my granddaughter. So I got that just in case. So now I just use that as my sewing machine. But if I have a lot of, if I have a lot of patches or something, I will use that four by four hoop. It's, I mean, you can four by four hoops is okay for like small images. And I'll show you, so people that do not know, I'll show you a patch that's four by four so you can see the size difference of what, if, what, what, the, what a four by four hoop would do. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend that unless you just want to use it for a sewing machine too, because you're going to get up, going to get mad. Like, look, I want bigger patches and you want to move on. So you might want to get, get the bigger machine. Okay. Hey, Diamond. She said, hey, everyone. This ear is itching me. Um, okay. What's about to do? <laughs> yeah, I'll be all I have a disclaimer. If y'all know, if y'all newbies here, say virgin. If anybody can say virgins or newbies, we just say virgin just to have a little fun. If you're a virgin here, say virgin and we can sh shout you out. And just a disclaimer, I do talk fast, so you gotta 
this is a little harder, I guess. Hey, best you in the crew. Hey, girl. Uh, I want to start doing embroidery help, virgin. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon, Sean. I think I saw your name before. She said she's virgin, so welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't see your name wrong. Shout. I don't know. Thank you, best you in the queue. She said I look beautiful. Um, Shantae, uh, what is it? Sine, she's a virgin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna show y'all. I didn't get to show y'all the other machine. Other, it's the other brother machine. That's smaller. That's the four by four hoop. Sorry, it's just the ring light is in the way. But that's a smaller hoop. A smaller um machine. Let me just show y'all real quick. This is the four by four hoop right here. Let me put that right here real quick. It's the four by four hoop right here, and then this is the five by seven hoop. Okay. See how big difference is? This is the four by four or five by seven. So. This machine, the small machine with the sewing machine, it's a four by four, and it only goes to this size, okay? And it's a five by seven. The PE 800 goes to a five by seven, okay? But the PE 800 also have a four by four and a five by seven hoop, okay? You get two hoops with that. But with the other machine, the smaller machine, you only get one hoop, which is distance. All you can do, honey. All you can see how small it is. It look big, but like if you want to do a shirt, it like for me, no, it won't be big enough for a shirt, okay? These are small, small, small. I'm gonna show you in a minute how big it's gonna be. It don't cover the whole hoop. When you when you um embroider it do not cover the whole hoop it's gonna just be right in the middle and i'm gonna show y'all what the size is compared to this right now let me show y'all all my little patches i'm not gonna go through my patches today because i know y'all probably tired to see oh, my earring hanging out it's not a booger it's just the earring sorry i don't want to pick with it yet but um i can feel it coming out <laughs> i can feel it so uh let me show y'all real quick a four by four hoop see that's how big it is okay so these are good for patches for kids shoes if y'all do a lot of patches for kids shoes this is as big as this hoop I get you know what i'm saying i mean as, as far as the image y'all could do kids shoes with that y'all could do little little kid shirts patches it's all you can do find some more four by six because someone sometimes they're a little bit wider see how big that is it's all you get because it, it's all you get okay show y'all a few more that i have four by four is all you get okay see how small it is compared to the hoop so it looks big when I put it up to my chest, but it's not. Okay. Any questions? Well, I'm showing y'all this stuff real quick. Any questions? Go ahead and answer me. See this four by four? That's as big as it gets. But the five by seven, way bigger, okay? Way bigger. Five by seven, you get about this big. Now, this is a nice size patch, okay? Five by seven comes about this big. She beautiful, girl. I told y'all that I did this patch. I had to get my hair done like this. She cute, cute. I love her. Look at that. And that's a patch, y'all. It's all three. All three. So that'd be a nice size. Uh, five by seven on an adult sweatshirt. No, I'll do a six by nine on the adult sweatshirt. But on the, this is a nice size patch. But you could put, like, if you do a jacket or something. I mean, this, I'm sorry. We wouldn't put a patch on the, on the sweater. You would just basically, this can be embroidered to a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Without being a patch. And it'd be, this would be too small, too. I'll do a six by nine. Okay. Okay, I see somebody had a question. I'm going to answer it as soon as I sit down, okay? I didn't, I do see it. This is embroidery too. I got a patch to do with her. I got a patch to do with her today too. Well, not today, but soon. But she wants the Black Lives Matter fabric. So I have this too, but I'm going to put it in Black Lives Matter fabric. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, she's cute too. Um, And this is all, this is fabric and this is thread. So this is called applique. Let me fix this earring. And this is the fabric she wants. It's a lot. I bought a lot of this fabric. I don't remember where I got it from, but I, got, I can let y'all know. But this is where I'm going to put inside that patch, okay? So it's going to say Black Lives Matter. I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to put Black Lives Matter inside that patch. And I got to do this for her soon. I got a lot of, I got a lot of work to do, y'all. I got, But I love it, y'all. I'm not complaining. See, and then I also have this, the same girl with the Stillers. Um, um, Stillers. Um, it's the fabric, okay? Cute, cute. That's all I'm going to show y'all today. Um, I have a whole bag of patches that I've made, and I um, I have a video on sh of showing y'all all about all these patches I made. It's a lot of patches in here that I made, so I have a video on that. You can check my video out and see the patches I made. Okay. So now let's um, what I'm about to show y'all. Um, show y'all some more orders I have to do real quick before I get started. So I had this. I'm gonna show you. Not show you the address, but this is a, um a patch I gotta do right here, little girl. I gotta do some more socks right here. She wants the silver and um gray and pink. Okay. Y'all see that? I'm sorry. Gray and pink. Also, got, these are all my orders, y'all. I have some mugs I got to do. I don't want to get too close because I want to show the address. And then I see it. I got some stuff on my tape I got to do. Just send us some more stuff. And all these orders right here I got to do, y'all. One, two, three, four, five orders. So I appreciate you all. I got a cup to do, a glass to do. I got a pair of shoes to do, y'all. Can y'all see that? I'm sorry. Let me, let, me turn, let me turn it around. Okay, I got a pair of shoes to do. 
um the converse shoes i got this stuff already she wanted the um white beads and silver and silver beads here's the shoes i got another some more um socks to make like i said i got a glass to make a wine glass some more patches kobe patches another lebron another lebron patch goodness gracious another some more kobe patches and some more socks okay so i'm just showing that because i just wanted to preach i just appreciate y'all so check out my um sites and these y'all these from dollar tree so let me know i know people on youtube now doing these um they doing um sublimation i'm sorry for the tv in the background my, my son watched tv upstairs they're doing sublimation on um plain notebooks right uh, i've been wanting to do this video forever and i've just been so busy i should have did today but i i trying to get this stuff out my order out the way i'm gonna do these soon so let me know if y'all want to see me sublimate on these dollar tree notebooks and see if it works okay i have seen a video on youtube already with that on there so i was going to try these notebooks she tried some other notebooks but i want to see the dollar tree notebooks without the glitter will work on sublimation let me see some hearts and comment below if y'all want to see that video Let me see. Let me see. Okay, she want to see. It. Okay, if I see gets a lot of likes or whatever and, co and comments, I will be. I will do it. Okay. Um. You don't hear me. Somebody said they can't hear you. Can't, if you can hear me, let me see some thumbs up. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? We can hear you fine. Okay, somebody just said they couldn't hear me. Okay, I'll just make sure y'all can hear me. So whoever said they couldn't hear me, try to come back and come come back, go out and come back in, okay? Okay, so let's get started with the video, y'all, because I got to go. I can't be on here all day. Okay, I see the thumbs up. I see the hearts. Okay, so this is what I, this is what I do, y'all. I use embroidery. I use embrilliance. Let's see. I use embrilliance, okay, for my embroidery, okay? So this is one of the patches I'm going to be doing. This is a four, this is a five by seven. And um, this is something that I got made. I got this. In, I got this digitized from off of Fiverr. So if you ever want to get some digitized, just go ahead and go to Fiverr. I can make this bigger, y'all. Let me see. I just okay. There we go. Now you can see a little bit better. That's Kobe Bryant, of course. So um, basically what I do is I put. I basically look onto my files. Let me show y'all. I do it again. If I, I can show y'all real quick. This is how I use embroidery. I close this down, right? It's in the background. So I go to my embroidery files. I have a lot of embroidery files, and I just go ahead and go to the folder I want to go into. And, okay, if I want to go to, and I always use PES files for my brother machines, okay? So this is, right here it says Lakers Patch. I click on that. And then when I click on it, double click on it, it goes all, it always goes to embroidery, in brilliancy. You can do it any other way you want to do it, but this is how I do it. I just basically click on it, double click on it twice, and it's now I know it's in embrilliance. So let me show y'all now. I'm going back to embrilliance. This is right here where it is. It looks, this is embrilliance right here, the yellow file thing opened up and that's the patch I just opened up okay and this is right here click on it you can tell what size it is right here this is a four by three I'll tell you right here it's a four by three right here okay this is the Lakers I'm not doing this one I'm just showing y'all by example of how to work with in brilliance I do have a video on how to work with in brilliance so check my video out okay okay so now let me go ahead and go back to the one I was working with I'm working on this one I'm going to be doing this one right now i already got this one together for y'all so you gotta worry about me seeing this one this is lebron james and what i did was i did the same thing you just said i uploaded him into embrilliance and then i put this basting stitch around him but a basting stitch is, is basically hold your um fabric or whatever you're using in your machine so it won't buckle up okay but i also use spray which i'm going to show you that in a minute also so this basting stitch i'm about to show you how to put the basting stitch on there on my other uh, other image i already got lebron done and i already got him in, on this um the drive into my in my printer so i'm gonna put this one in here for um the other one i'm about to do for kobe i push it in here like this okay now it's in my print my computer and i'm gonna go ahead and go to the patch that i'm about to do this is lebron i mean this is your lebron this is like i said the five by seven and over here it tells you how it's going to stitch out right okay it's all the steps in here and it's all the colors okay <clears throat> excuse me so then you can also look at the stitches by going to this little button right here. Like I said, I do have a detailed video on how to do this. I'm just showing y'all just a little bit of this video right now just to show y'all the glimpse of Ebrillions. I love Ebrillions and Brilliance. It's another something else out there too, but I can use Ebrillions because I have a, I have a, um, I only can use Ebrillions because I have a Mac, okay? And I like it. Okay, now I did a lot. There's a lot of videos on YouTube to show you how to use it. And I have to, I had to basically look through those to learn how to use it. This is how it's going to stitch out. Even though I'm not going to use red, I'm going to use black. 
Um, but this is how it's going to, she's telling you step by step how it's going to stitch out. What's it going to stitch, stitch, stitch out, okay? I'm sorry, I'm talking fast, y'all. See, that's just showing you how it's going. That's the thread. I don't like their thick red border, so I'm going to skip that. Thick. I don't need that thick red border. So I'm going to skip that like I did the last time I, I did this patch. And I got to check and see if I got a, a patch like this. I know I did, but I don't know if I sold it or not. Because sometimes I'd be in a rush and sometimes I just sell the ones I already have in stock instead of um, doing it over. But I like to keep my patches so I can show y'all when I'm doing videos. I can show y'all how they look so y'all can just get a glimpse of how it look. Okay, so now that's how it's going to stitch out, okay? So now I'm going to go to, um, now this is how I do the basting stitch. You go to, go up here to utility. And this is something I just knew, I just learned not too long ago how to do this. Somebody taught me this, so I learned. So I'm going to show y'all this too. So it says base stitch, right? So you just click on it. And there is put a, we put a box around there, and what this box is is going to be a, some thread. It's a thread that's going around here to hold the fabric still while you're stitching this. Because believe me, I done messed up a lot of patches and stuff trying to um, trying to embroider. Because when that needle was going around, it moves the fabric. Even though you use spray, sometimes the spray don't hold if you got a lot of fabric. Okay, especially when you have like for my LeBron James picture. I'm about to, I mean, patch I'm about to do right now. Um, he has a lot of thread, a lot of thread. It's like I think it's two layers, which it is. I think it's got a base. Uh, layer and then it has you know thread on top of that so it's a lot of red so it can your, your fabric can get kind of you know the fabric can move shift let me just see if i have a patch with kobe on here i think i sold that patch though oh no i didn't hear it is this is bigger this is bigger and this is the one i did when i was just sampling out so this is big way bigger this is like a i don't know what size this is oh, six by nine Okay, but this right here, I use blue jean fabric. You can use blue jean fabric. It's whatever. You can use any kind of fabric you want. Thick fabric. And this one, I'm just testing it out. But right now, I'm using teal. And um, you can just Google teal and go to, they, go to um, a website that have teal. Okay, teal fabric. This is, this is right. You can see this is blue jean fabric. And I've done a couple with blue jean fabric. And it worked right, but I wouldn't sell it on blue jean fabric unless somebody asked me to. Like, this is blue jean fabric. Okay. That was just cute for her, that blue face. Um, this is just the outline. So that, that's the patch I'm going to be doing today. So let's get started. So now I, that's what I already did. I went on here to save. And I like I like to keep these patches out too so I can check the colors out. So I can know what colors I used. Um, when I do a patch, I usually set out a patch next to it so I can be able to see what color I used on the patch that I liked. And if I didn't like this color, I would change the color to something else, right? So that's what I do, y'all. That's what I do. All right, okay, so with that being said, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to go back and see. I think somebody did have a question earlier. So when I... Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all want to see my face. Okay, this is the patch. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save As. And this pops up. And I'm just going to put um Kobe. I'm going I'm to put Kobe 10 because I got a lot of Kobe stuff that I already saved in here. See, Kobe. I'm sorry if I'm moving around. Kobe 10. And I'll just go ahead and make sure I put it under my no name because that's my, my flash drive right here. No name. I click on that to make sure it's on there. Then I push save. And with the Mac, this is how you do it. This is how I do it on Mac. I don't know how y'all do it on other computers, but then I close this down. Then I see, see this thing right here. This is where my, my flash drive is right here. So basically throw it in the, throw it in the trash can. My, so my daughter be like, you got to throw it away? Yep, I got to throw it in the trash can. So now, I just put, now it's on here. So now I pull it out. And I take it over here to the machine, y'all. And we ready to embroider. But before we embroider, we have to get our stuff ready. So before I start embroidering, so I put it in the machine right here. And I push this button right here. That means it's flash drive. And it's going to um, pull up all the things I have in my flash drive. And I've got to go through it and find it. The same thing for over here. I already put my, uh, my, my um, image on this flash drive right here, right? So now I'm looking for it now. I just put I put it on here. This is how it looks. This screen is way bigger than the other one. So you can really see what's on here. There's LeBron James. I'm hoping this is the right one because it's a five by oh, it's a four by five by seven. Five. It's a four by six. No, that's not the one I'm thinking. That might be the one. Cause it don't really it don't it's the only sad thing about it, it don't have a name on here. So if I have LeBron in here about four or five times, I wouldn't know um oh. If it's the right one, but that's got to be the right one because that's the only one he has in here. I wish they would have the name on here so I can know which one I'm picking because it could be different sizes. You never know, right? So set. This is the five. Oh, it's five by seven. I want the smaller. It's right here. It says, yes, yeah, right, five by seven. Okay. So then what I do with him, now I go ahead and push edit. But you, if you want to make the size bigger 
or wider, however you, you can do the size, whatever. But I want to keep it um, this size right here. This is going to be the biggest size you can get with a five by seven. But let's see size, and we can spread. We can go ahead and check and see. I don't want no bigger than that. See now, see when they go bigger than five by seven, it's going to the six and nine. It's going to the six by nine um, um, hoop, and I don't want it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and go dig down. So we can go back to my five by seven. See now it's in the five by seven hoop. Got it? Got it. Okay. So then I can go ahead and push OK. Then I push in edit. And then I can push embroidery because that's how I want him to be. And it's going to tell me to go ahead and start embroidering. So the first thing you see is going to be a, um, a, a, the, the um, basting stitch. Okay. But I'm not going to do that yet because I got to show, I got to show you how to put the hoops together. Okay. And then tell you all the colors and stuff it's going to be using and tell you how long it is. So this right here is 93 minutes. We will be, we'll not be here 93 minutes. So I stop when I get ready to stop and then we'll be, I'll be done. But it only has, it says, five threads okay we have five threads um out of zero 93 minutes for this patch and this is how many thread counts it's going to be okay so that's how it's gonna be it's a long it's a lot of that's a long time y'all so we would not be here for that long okay so now let's go over here to see over here so now i'm going to go ahead and find the one that i just put on here who's the kobe and see right here it's telling you it's the five by seven which is the biggest hoop this is the four by four hoop okay so let's go ahead and find that kobe bryant one Five by seven, where you at, Kobe? Come on, Kobe. There you like, gotta be the last one. See, before when I got these machines, they used to be the first one saved. So I don't know why it changed like that now. It used to be the first thing smoking, and now it's the last one smoking. So it's the five by seven. Um, this is how I want it. I don't want to change it because if you changed it, sometimes it will mess up that when when you're um when you're um Embroidering it, I learned that the hard way, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, and then it's ready to go. Here's the color. This one right here takes 57 minutes, right there. It's how much thread it is, and it's 19 colors on here, okay? And sometimes it, it says 19 colors, but sometimes it be using the same dog on color. It depends on how what the color is, okay? So that is it right here. So now let's go over here to our. This is yes, this is my heat. This is my heat press, okay, y'all. And I do set up everything on my heat press like it's a table, but I got it covered so I won't mess up anything. This one's already done. I already hooped this one. This is called hooping. This is my fabric that I use. It's the teal fabric. Um, I, I basically you will see what I did right now when I do this one, okay? So let's put this down. Hold on. Sorry, let me get my my phone together, y'all. So let's put this right here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what I do. I use the, um, this is cutaway fabric, right? I mean, cutaway stabilizer, I'm sorry. Cutaway stabilizer. Okay, and what I do is I just basically put the hoop under here so I can measure it so I can know it's gonna fit in my hoop. So as I place the hoop on top of the um, stabilizer. Stabilizer is what holds the fabric onto your hoop. You need a stabilizer. And like I said, this is a cutaway. You don't want to use tearaway on this because tearaway will not hold this um this these patches, okay? Use the, the cutaway. And I will have the link below. I did get this cutaway from Amazon, okay? I love it. I get the big rolls. And basically, I just basically, if y'all hope y'all can see that. Basically, I just set the hoop. This is it's the hoop coming two pieces, right? Right? So I put one piece down, then I put the um stabilizer on top, and then I smush it together, connect it together, and I close it up. Make sure it's tight. Make sure you put it tight because if it's loose, it's going to mess up your um image, okay? Mess up your whatever you're doing. So make sure you push it all the way in there and then you tighten it also. You get these little this little screwdriver thing with your hoops, right? And you twist this part right here to make it tighter, okay? I have videos. I know I'm going fast. I have videos, the whole videos on how to do this, okay? So I'm just basically just screwing this tighter to make sure it's tight. Like I said, I have videos on these, okay? I'm just doing a live to show y'all an example of how I'm getting my work done, okay? These are my SE orders, and I'm just, you just like a work with me video, and I'm showing you how I do my my, my patches. Now, if you just want to see any other videos, let me know. I'm Like I said, I have been doing the same videos. Like, only reason I'm doing the same video because these are my, this is my orders. This is what I have to, you know, ship out. So, if y'all want to see anything else, let me know. Nobody have been, let me know. So, as long as it has that sound, you're good. Nobody has been telling me what they want to see, so I've been just doing my orders, y'all. Trying to show my face and do my orders. So this is this is the um spray that I use. This is the 501 temporary spray. I get this from Amazon also. Basically, you just spray. I try to spray the edges in the middle so it won't bulk up. So I'm gonna do this outside the camera because I don't want it all in my camera or on my heat press, okay? 
So this is how it looks. All the white stuff is the spray. It dries quick. So I spray it on the back and I put it right in the middle of the of the hoop. Okay, now just rub it so it can stick and let it dry. Okay. Any questions? Let me go. I forgot somebody. Do you have some questions? Oh, I'm gonna turn that way. Sorry, y'all. Let me see if y'all got any questions. Hold on, let's see. Chat. Okay. Happy Sunday. It's a site where you search for freelance um, designers. Yeah, to my Fiverr. Nobody. Yep. Thank you, Zimps. I don't share the the person that does my um my um my uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> I don't share her because she, you might not like her, and I don't want to be like you. Be like, oh, Charmaine, you sitting? You, I'm seeing somebody. I'm like, go ahead and just do your research. I told you the site. Go to the site, and if you're looking for uh, um, what is it called? I can't think of the darn name. That digitizer looking for a digitizer just basically go in there and put in digitizer and you can contact that person and ask them to show their samples or look at their stars look at their reviews and all that kind of stuff that's what i had to do okay so um go out to fiverr and just do that you could do you could use fiverr for so many things i use fiverr for everything fiverr did my um my um intro and my outro videos to my um youtube channel they do they do my logos I mean, no not my logos but they do my my pictures on my facebook page my um YouTube channel, they, they did all that photos and stuff. They do a lot, and it's cheap. You can find somewhere cheap. And my the girl that I do for um my digitizing, she kind of expensive because I want my stuff to be good. So that's why I said I'm not gonna share her, but you can just find somebody. You might want to go somewhere cheap. So go ahead and find yours. I mean, go in there and, and just research. Okay. So I just I oh, should show y'all that. Let me see what else y'all saying. Hey, hey, forty acres. Um. Hey, Charmaine. I'm late. Good afternoon, honey bun. Hey, Sh uh, Shamira. Let me see if y'all have any questions. Or is it the program? It's website. Um, hello. Thank you, Dimps. Oh, hey. So, a uh, crafting teacher, Alicia. Um, new to me. And that's all. If you have any questions, I don't want to keep on going back, back, back. I don't know how far. So, if you have any questions, ask me again. I'm sorry if I missed you. Okay. So this is how you put this in. I should have showed you before I put it in. I'm just running my mouth. So this is the um the, the um hoop. And this one is so much easier. Right here, the newest one, the bigger one, you just slide it on in, right? You slide it on here just like that. Easy peasy. And you're done. But this one right here, you got the e um P E A hundred, you gotta snap it in, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to snap it in real quick. Hold on. Yeah, I see that. Okay, yeah, I can see that a little bit. Okay. So basically, we basically have to step it in. Like, see these little prong things right here? These little, then it's got to go into these holes on the side, right? So you basically just put it in here and then you snap it in here like that. So the other one is so much easier. You just slide it on in. This one, you got to make sure it's, sometimes it give you a headache. Sometimes one of them go in, the other one don't go in. You got to make sure it's in there. That's what that, that's what that do. So now, the headache of having a one needle machine is you have to change the thread all the time. What color is this in here? And I use these little fancy things right here because I just like these and it's so much better than use these. And I got this from um, Joanne Fabric. Even though you have a little spool thing here, I always use that, okay? I like them. It's just so much better. And basically when I have, you got to use them for these big spools of thread, okay? Okay, so I do the same thing from over here. So if y'all wondering what, what's going on back there, that's what that is. So... What I usually do is before I start my video, I have all my thread ready, but I don't. But it's black in here, so that's cool. So black's the first color I'm going to be using. So I'm going to let this go ahead and start up. I, mean, I already threaded this one, so that's cool. Is it already is that all in there? Yep, it's threaded. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's threaded. So all I got to do now is push the button. Push the god darn button. So I just push it down here to say to, to put the um, needle down. And I just push the go button. And now it's going to do the basting stitch, which is just a square to hold the fabric down. Okay? And it's black. And most like I said, he only got five colors, so he's easy. He just got a face, okay? He got black, brown, and purple. Well, I, got, I got a patch with him on there too, so let me get his patch out too after um after just stop. I just want to show you how it just joins with that basic stitch. So I'm just doing. And now the next color is purple, um, which is going to be doing something. His oh oh, that's the whole back of his face. So his whole face is purple, and then they put the brown on tops and all the other colors on top. See, it's like two different shades of brown. Would you like a gold? No, it's gold. I'm sorry, I'm gonna use gold. I'm gonna use a light brown, a gold, purple, and black, and that's all he need. Light brown, gold, purple, and black, and white. That's five colors. 
I don't see white in there, but it's five colors. So what color am I missing, y'all? Maybe they use two different sh shades of uh, uh, brown in there. I'm just gonna use one shade of brown, my gold, my purple, my black, and that's it. So I'm only gonna be using four colors, I think. Let me go check and see the other patch that I made with him on it. Cause that's what I, that's why I make patches so I can see what I used before. <sighs> and then with him, he got a lot of colors on him. So he want black too. So I, that's why, that's what I, I just don't like. Only thing I don't like about the single needle machines is, because, is the colors. You have to, um, I mean the thread, you have to change your thread over and over again. But with the six needle machines, you don't have to do that. Okay. So, and it, it's, it's easy. To, I mean, if you get used to it, it's easy to change the thread. It's cool. But, um, just got to change it every time to stop. And it depends on sometimes the, the um, the, I mean, the thread process only takes like one minute or less than a minute. You got to get up and change it every time you, you go out. Let me try, let me try to find him real quick. I know I have him unless I sold him too. But I try not to. So I can see what color I use. If I use different color shades of brown on him. Like I said, I like looking at these so I can be able to see how I did the first one. If I like it, that's how I'm going to keep on doing it. Look at, look at this one, y'all. Ain't that a bad patch? And I just, this color, they, they had used all different kind of gray shades. If you see this, it's on Etsy, right? So if you see this on Etsy, it's all gray. It's all different color gray shades of gray, right? No, I used the different color shades of brown, okay? And I love it. And then what I do, y'all, I didn't show y'all, but I write down the colors and thread numbers on the thread so I can know what colors I use. Okay, if I really wanted to be precise for this one, I would definitely find the color shades on this one right here. But on this one right here, I just gonna find any kind of gold, any kind of purple that I know. And this is an orange, like an orange color. I just used any color. But this right here, I would want to know the same exact browns to make sure it matches just like this, right? And for him, yeah, if I just used like a light brown, a gold. Well, I should just sell this one instead of doing this one. But I like to see these. So like I said, that's all I want to sell them because I like to use these just to look at so I can see. But if I was being lazy, if I was in a rush, I would sell this. But this is a 5 by 7 This is the one I need, right? So, yep, that's all I use. That, ain't that so nice, y'all? So, I guess that was a... Did I use white, y'all? I got to get. I gotta find his um his profile. The one, like I said, my profile. I call it profiles. But what I use, I just write, write everything down on a notebook sheet of paper. So, I can know what shades of color I use. And I write down the number of thread on there. And I'll show you that in a minute, too. Uh, where the number thread is at, if you don't know where that's at. Okay, let me get in my little book I have right here. See, every time I get on the lives, I always make it longer than what it really supposed to be because I like to explain to people that just in case it's your first time, you'll know everything step by step instead of like, oh, instead of me skipping stuff. I like to show, tell y'all everything like it's your first time watching, right? But I didn't have so many um videos on patches. I got a lead. Let me find Kobe real quick. So I, I mean, not Kobe, but um, what's his name? LeBron James patch. And sometimes when you um Kobe, see look at this. This is this comes with the patches. Like you go on Etsy, it comes with it, right? So if I change any kind of color, I basically put it right here. So I put down that I use six, twelve, and two fifteen for the gold. Somebody just leave this out. I, oh no, I'm not doing Kobe. This is Kobe patch. Everybody, let I, I sell out this patch, and I had this one, but I sold it. So I can't really show y'all the real patch of Kobe face because I sold it. But this one right here, big seller. Um, Kobe Boss. Let me find let me find LeBron James real quick. Any questions? My mouth is dry, y'all need something to drink. Let's see. Let me find LeBron James because I do want to make sure his colors are the same. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I pick my, my colors too. My my thread, I'm sorry. Come on, LeBron James. I know I got you in here somewhere. And what I'm doing is I'm just going through all of my papers right here. This is all notebook sheets of paper. And I just go and I write down. Don't look at my handwriting because it sucks. I just be scribbling, scrabbling. These are all my patches that I wrote down. Because I always can go and I put down the, top, the, the name of the patch on top so I can know which one it is. Come on, Kobe. I mean, come on, LeBron James. Where you at? Ugh. Watch it be the last one. So I usually don't even use them. Really? Ugh, I gotta do bandanas too. Oh, I got so much to do, y'all. Kobe, liquor patch. I don't think I have it. I know I have it somewhere, but I just have to figure it out. Um, The colors. I don't have Muhammad Ali. What do I do with Muhammad Ali? Watch when I finish looking, I'm gonna find it when I don't need it. All right, whatever. 
I'll just um guess guess the mate. These are all my kids' patches. I try to step inside to be looking through all the patches. So I have all these pieces of all my kids' patches in the yellow folder. I stay organized. I'll try to stay organized, put everything together so I won't have to lose it. But, yep, I don't know what color I use for him, but I'm just going to, I'm pretty sure that's got to be white. That's got to be white in there, in his face. That's not brown, that's white. So he don't have brown in his face at all. That's white. But you know what? The white looking kind of brown because I got that purple under it. So this is white. So now let me show y'all how I check, check my, um, how I pick my colors. Okay, so here's all my thread back here, and I'm looking at him. So for sure, my purple is always the same because I always keep it out. Where is it at? Okay, this is the colors I use right here for uh, LeBron, James, and Kobe. So purple, these are the colors I use for both of them. And I'm both, I'm doing them both now, and they both have the same freaking color. So I'm just going to be keep leaving those right there. Hopefully they don't run into the same color. But if they do, I do have two of gold and two of purple. So y'all need to make sure y'all do that when y'all... um doing having more than one machine so i do have two different colors and i think my purple was over there on my other machine oh cool it's not i thought it was in my machine but it's right here I'm trying to block out my messy room so i have my purple black and gold what is i'm looking purple black and gold and then the white okay and i'm gonna use that that might be gray that's that's white that's white okay so there's the white right here okay so he's already, and in the same way for him, I'm gonna. I gotta find the color that I use for that basketball. I'm sorry, and I think that's all I need in the brown. So let me find him a brown for over here. What color shade do I want him to be? Let's check him out. I did him light on this one, so we can do the same color. So I just match it up. It's gotta be this one right here. Is it this one right here? Yeah, it's close enough. If it's not, I know it can't be that one. That look is kind of gold. I'm gonna use this one for him. Let's put that over here. And then this color for the basketball, which was this color. That looked kind of orange. Let's see what I use for the basketball. Maybe it was this one. Yep. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for the basketball, I believe. Let's check and see if I got anything orange over here. Maybe it was this one. Oh, not that one. I'm kind of colorblind, as y'all can see a little bit too. Yep, it was this one. Let me use this one. So that's that. That look kind of pink though. Ah. That definitely look kind of pink, but that might be it. See, that's the reason why I need to find out where the, um the numbers is at that I use. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna check that out to make sure I got the right number, okay? With the paperwork I have for this one. I don't want the, the ball to look pink. Okay, that's it. So Purple, gold, black, white. Yep, that's all I need for him. Um, yeah, I have not done. I somebody said, have I done my patches on my big machine? No, I haven't because I just like I just haven't. I do my I use my big machine for my um shirts and stuff like that. So nope, to tell you the truth, nope, I have not did my patches on my big machine. I just my do my shirts on my big machine. Okay, I gotta find the color for this y'all. Hold on. I gotta find a color for this one. I do not want to use the wrong orange. So I gotta see my all my all my mess. Kobe ball. Okay, I use orange 209. Okay. See, I wrote it down, so I'm glad I did that. So I used this orange. So I didn't use the other one that was pink. So cool. I'm glad I wrote that down. See what I'm saying? You you, you get confused at what you use, so you write it, write it, write it down. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Okay. Okay, so now let me go ahead and thread this machine up. The next color it says it's purple. So I'm about to go ahead and thread it up. It's gonna be hard to see, but you got my graph. This is what I'm doing. I got a video on how to thread all the machines and stuff up, so you can check that out on uh, my other videos. Okay, so what I do is place it back here first. Go from in. I can't hold the camera and show you, so like I said, I already have a video on how to do this, okay? And it tells you the numbers. It's really easy after you get it. It's just, a, a, it's, it goes by quick and easy because it has the numbers of how it goes. Start with one and all we go up to number seven, okay? So now that's done. We're gonna push it down. And that's gonna be, this 29 minutes just for the purple, y'all. 29 minutes just for that, that purple right here. This whole base, the base of it, the purple right there is 29 minutes, okay? So now I'm over here to this one and I love, 
Hope y'all can be able to hear me at the machines start up. I got if y'all can't let me know and I can go get my um my earplug in. So this first one I need to do is the black. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the black out. And this one's only a minute. Then I gotta come back and change it again, okay? So that's what I don't like. Um, yeah, it'd be sometimes when it say a minute, it'd be less than a minute, okay? It just don't have any, it don't say seconds, it's just you know start at minutes. I'll go ahead and put now this the um PE 800 you gotta put the thing down right here. You gotta put your lever down here instead of pushing the button, and then you just push go. There you go. So right now, first thing you're gonna do is the stitch, the um basting stitch. I got 107 people watching. Hey, hey, y'all, thumbs up, please. I appreciate you watching. I hope you're having a great Sunday. So that's one minute, that's one minute, that's five minutes. That's a, what is that, it's skin tone? Is that blacker? Yeah, that's, I don't know, it's, it'll tell you what it is right here in this little box. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna change. After this stop, it's gonna tell you what's next. So you get the idea of what, you, what color threads you're gonna need the next one. I just showed y'all the box right there. Okay, so now oh, it's gonna be his outline of his body, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and use that black too, okay? I'm gonna push, so I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna go ahead and push it again. It's gonna make it outline of his body. What's y'all questions? Y'all got any questions? Let me see. Let me see how Charmaine, what program should I use to view embroidery images? I do embroidery. I do, um, in brilliance. Oh, I'm a, I don't know why I did that. I'm um, let's see. Thank you for the information. You're welcome, Sharon. Have you done your practice on your, nope, I haven't. Are there any copyright issues with selling these on Etsy? Um, Dara, I think it's Dara, Dara, um, yeah, it might be, but I still do it, so, um, now this is, uh, uh do I want to do that? I'm going to go ahead and make this black, okay, that's the outline of him too, and I'm just going to make it black. Um. That's really nice. Wow. I love I love the patches. There's the patch. Um so where do you buy your machine? Um machines I buy I buy them from um I bought these I bought this from Walmart, y'all. PE eight hundred from Walmart, okay? Walmart. And this one I got from you have to basically check out your local um embroidery stores. Shops near you, your I'm sorry, your sewing shop. Look at this, y'all. This is how it goes. This is how it stitches. And it's gonna do another layer. It's gonna be a solid purple when it's done. It's gonna be a solid purple. Right now, we're just going back and forth, back and forth, just covering up the black. But after it's done, you will see how it's gonna be a thick layer. Okay. Um. Let's see. What's the the base fabric is called teal. T W I L L. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, Tiffy. Tiffany. Um. Yeah, I'm just looking at y'all questions. Like I said, if I forgot anybody, please answer your question again. But I'm looking through them right now. And I'm trying to make sure I get everybody. Okay. So, yep. Yeah, look at this. I love the outline of these patches. Look at that. It's so nice. That's how you have to have the outline because you need to cut it. So, whenever you get something digitized, make sure they do an outline so you can better cut around the whole patch. Okay. You don't want to get something that you got to cut in and cut around holes in it. No. Find something that you can be able to. It's going to be solid. A solid. Um outline and I can think of his car right now um it's a word for those outline I can't think right now what it was what it's called see that I mean just, you just push the button and let it go y'all I love embroidery I love embroidery and I have another patch to do and I could have put it on this four by four hoop but I just I just this one got it I gotta take it to the shop it's been acting up so I'm gonna see what's going on with that be a satin stitch. Thank you, damn. Thank you, damn. I knew somebody's gonna tell me. Satin stitch around the um, around the outside, so you can better cut around it instead of having all kinds, of, you know, cutting all crazy and it being, you know, it being looking, we can look crazy or whatever. Um, I just wanna show y'all how it looks. Let's get a feel of how it looks. I should be having a little video doing this video on um, putting this on um. Snapchat. Check out my Snapchat. I love doing Snapchat. Those short videos. Okay, while that's stitching, y'all go ahead and ask me questions. I could be cutting up this ribbon for these socks, y'all, while y'all, while I'm talking. 
cut up this ribbon, y'all. I got four pairs of socks to do, well, more than four, but right now I need to be doing. So I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna go ahead and start cutting this ribbon up, y'all, while we talk. Gotta get done, y'all. Gotta get my work done. So we're, this is what we're working on today. We're doing a LeBron patch. We're doing a Kobe patch today, right now, as we speak. But while I'm sitting here asking y'all questions, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how you cut your ribbon for your um socks and stuff. For your um tutu socks. I don't have a, a I do got some samples of that. Let me show y'all how my socks look. Those, I'm telling you. Big seller. Okay, these are the tutu socks right here. And mine are detachable, right? So when y'all buy them, know that they're attachable if y'all buying them. Y'all basically I'll give y'all the socks, pack the socks, brand new socks. And then you basically put the um put the sock on the little kid, and then you put the ruffle on the kid, hold it the way you want it, and then bought out. You have some, some ruffle socks, right? This one is not done. I, I'm just this is a sample. I didn't I didn't seal the ends on this yet, but this is just a sample of it, right? Um my, this is when I started doing them, I just was doing different samples and put them on my website, right? Um and the socks I have three size, small, medium, large. Take this off now. Now you can wash the sock. And you can leave this for next time. You can do it again. You can also change socks to have the socks you colors you want at your house. So it's better to have it detachable so you better wash it. So you put this in the washer, it might not wash really well. Take it off the sock, wash the sock, and put it back on the child. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But be people be able to iron these patches. Yes, they're ironed on patches. Okay. Like I said, I would not be able to show y'all the end results of these patches because. The LeBron patch takes 93 minutes, and I'm not going to be on live that long, right? The other one takes 50-something minutes. I won't be on live that long either. So I'm just coming over here showing y'all the beginning of how to make the patches, and then y'all can see the other videos of how I make the patches whole. I have a whole video about how to make a whole patch. But to the end of how to prep it to iron it onto the shirt, the jacket. I also have a video showing y'all how to iron on patches on a jacket, a uh, letterman jacket. I have a video on that too, so just check out my videos. Here's the Raiders. This Raider color. No, not Raiders. Lakers. LA Lakers. LA Raiders. Well, uh, yeah, purple and gold. Don't don't be don't beat the messenger up. I don't know. I don't watch sports, but I know a lot of people in my town like the purple and gold. Okay, so that's a that's a set right there. This is so pretty. That color is so pretty. Um, so yep, those are my samples of my socks. And I get um okay, see now my machine stopped at me. I need to change the color. So I, I'm selling these on my Ray of Sunshine boutique, okay? My kids' boutique. Okay, so look, that's the border. That's the out. That's the satin stitch is done. Now it's going to go. All, going to go ahead and get everything inside. I love this. Now you're able to cut with no problem when you're ready to um finish this, the, pa the patch. But now it's telling me to do the orange for the ball. See how it tells you the color for the ball, and that is uh two minutes, right? The next color is going to be this color, which is, I think, a skin tone. Yes, and it's going to be eight minutes, right? So now we um, did four threads out of 19. So far, we did eight minutes out of um, 57 minutes. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Lord Jesus. I just push embroidery. I hope it don't start over again. It's going to start over again. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. So um, now I'm going to do the ball. So I got to get the color. Show y'all how to, what do I do with the orange, y'all? Tell me what I do with the orange, y'all. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this black out. I got to push this lever up back in the back. And I got to pull this black out. Some people pull it out that way or some people just cut it and go, go the other way. I pull it out. I have no problem with doing that. But like I said, different videos are showing you how to thread the machines. I have a video on how to thread the machines, so check that out. I also have a video on these two different machines that I have right now. I have the difference between, everybody want to know what's different between this machine and this machine, that, the both machines I'm working on. I got a video on both of the machines and how fast they stitch and everything. I have a video on that. Okay? Check that video out too. Okay. I got this threaded. Basically, let me show you that real quick. There's the thread right here. I bring it up here. Bring it through here. Bring it go up. Go around. Go down. Go around here. Go up. Go down. Loop, loop. Come back down and then you cut it there we have it push the lever down in the back and it's green mean go you want the ball and let's look at this over here y'all see how it's getting it together beautiful 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 i love purple my favorite color you got the back down the back stitch on there now it's covering it up with the full stitch okay that's 29 minutes y'all so it's gonna be rocking for a minute 
Okay. All right. Now I got one minute to talk to y'all. Oh, let me get these threads out. I mean, let me get my um, ribbon out. When I do my um, I know this video is for embroidery, but I might as well talk to y'all about these threads. This thread, this right here is a size 12 month. So when I do a 12 month infant sock, I use a smaller thread, right? I'm gonna say I'm thread. I use a smaller ribbon, okay? When I use anything over like a toddler sock, I use a, um, this size ribbon, which is a one and a half inch. Okay, and I think this is seven fours. This is seven eight inch, okay? And this is what I use to, um, to I use this kind of tulu, not the big tulu, because you don't have to worry about cutting this, y'all. I fold this and I'm done. I got a video on how to do tulu socks too, right? So I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing because I want to go ahead and get this ribbon cut so I can be ready. Since I'm using three different ribbons, I have to make sure I have I have to divide the color, the, the, the inches of whatever I'm using into three, because I'm using three different colors for each sock, right? And I have a little diagram of what I need to use for the sock. So for infants, you use the four yards of ribbon and four yards of this, right? So I divide four into two, into three, because I have three different ribbons, right? So it's gonna be a little bit off because it got three ribbons. But just, so I do probably like one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. My one and a half inch ribbon for each, each one. That'd be good. Somebody said, um, anybody can help her with sublimation. I have videos on how to do sublimation. So check that out. Videos, and I can do another video. Like I said, I'm going to be doing sublimation soon on those notebooks, y'all. Hey, Craft with Love 55. Thank you, damn. If I get my threads from Amazon, I like um, Madeira, Madeira thread. I love Madeira thread. And that's from, you get it from Amazon or you get it from their site also. They give you them big spools. You might, you might get some big spools from somebody else, but I like Madeira threads. Okay, toddler size, I use five yards of this, five yards of ribbon, each sock, okay? But for kids, um, I use six yards. With kids, you know, I just go, you know, any size over a toddler. It's kid size. Six yards of um, two loops, six yards of ribbon. Like I said, if you got three ribbons, you got to divide that by three. Um, so that'd be two, in two, four, six. You'll use two inches each of these colors per sock. Um, then, of course, you got to have the elastic, too. And then... Um, Teens, I use seven yards. I haven't done no teen yards, teen, teen socks yet before, but teens, you use seven yards and then you use eight inches of elastic, right? Got that? So I'm using, doing this, this is an infant sock, so I'm using a small ribbon, and I gotta divide this to one and a half because they're supposed to be four yards, right? So one and a half inch, and when I use my one and a half, I mean one and a half, not inch, one and a half yards, I'm sorry, y'all, if I've been saying inches, it's yards. You use one and a half inch, one and a half yards of this till you make four yards. Oh, no, I'm not talking too fast. And a yard is 30, 35 inches, so I just use I just use my um 36 inches, 35, 36. Um, and I just use my my ruler right here on my table. So I just basically go from here all up to here. And that's how I basically measure my ribbon, and I cut it, and then I put it to the side. My thread stopped again. Let's go over here and change the thread. Purple heel, he's still going strong they're going strong so the orange ball is ready nice i can't y'all can't see that though it's in there so now i'm gonna go ahead and put um i always said i need to do this, this skin i'm gonna do the upper part of the skin of his body i'm gonna put a brown in there yes purple is everything girl y'all know it's my it's your favorite color too that is my favorite color this is like a gold color, but I'm still trying to use this for his skin. I'm trying to think of the right. Let me see what color brown I use for his skin on his paper I wrote. Uh, of course, I didn't write down the color purple. I mean, the brown skin. Color, orange, purple, gold. Um, I'm going to use... What color brown do I want to use for his skin? I'm gonna go ahead and use this brown. It looks kind of gold to me, but I cannot. Oh, let me see. This is this one. Duh. Yeah. I'm, uh, I don't know why I put the shade on here. Y'all yeah, see that? That's definitely. Oh, that might be. This is it right here. I told y'all, like, I'm a little colorblind, y'all. But that's gonna have to work. I'm gonna use this brown. It's kind of lighter. Yeah, I know it's lighter, but it's gonna have to work today, Shorty. I don't want his face to look too gold. So I'm gonna use this brown. 
brown is brown. Let me pull out the orange. Let me see how many people are watching. 58 people, I mean 98 people are watching. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. While right, I'm going through this, I'm just doing two patches today for my orders, my Etsy orders. If you don't know about my Etsy pages, it's Charming Gal Boutique number two and a rate of sunshine 2020 on Etsy. Check out my TikTok, Charming Gal. My Instagram, Miss Charming Gal. And all the links that will be below shortly. And please follow me. Okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna do one and a half yards of each color. Oh, sorry. Oh, y'all looking at me. Y'all looking at my heat presses. Sorry. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and measure this while my wife will go ahead and get this together. So this is four yards. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, like I said, I told y'all how I did it. One, two, Four. I'm just measuring my ruler on my table, then I cut it. That's four yards right here for an infant sock. Just trying to get two things done at once while I'm here talking to y'all in this live because I got so much to do. So I'm getting off shortly because I have to go to um, a meet and greet. I'm going to Jamaica next month with uh, soon. And I have to be meeting the girls as we go into um, Jamaica with one, two, three. Four. So four yards per sock for infants. Cut it. Okay, and then put it to the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the ribbon. Thank you, Dan. She put my Instagram on there for me. So uh, I got two socks, so I gotta do this twice, right? So I'm gonna do one half yards and a half is like um I'm gonna do like the probably about I know half is not 19. I'm gonna do a 19 for, for me. That's where I wanna do it at. And it might be a little bit too much, but it'll be all right. Let me see. What's that? Twenty. Oh, Open this up. probably like uh yeah, like i said 19 i'm gonna do 19 i'm gonna do 18 i'm gonna do 18 for my half point so a yard and a half is gonna be what i'm gonna be doing where's my fabric scissors at? where you things not cutting right where's my fabric scissors at where you at where you at oh way over there these are not cutting right but over there i'm actually gonna seal it at the end anyway Okay, so I'm gonna do a yard and a half. About that much. And then I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna do it one more time because I got two socks, right? These scissors suck. Put this to the side. I'm not gonna do these socks today. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I mean, not right now on video, but I'm just gonna get my threads to ready while my machines are going. See how much you can do? You can do two things at once. My, my, my two embroidery machines is running, and I still have other things to do. Like I said, I'm working, you're working with me. It's my Etsy page. And I'm showing y'all this is my orders I had to get done. It's gotta be done tonight. That's one color I have done. Now I have to do the blue. These colors are so cute. These socks are gonna be so cute. And I don't really do that many colors with um three colors. Three, I mean I don't do that many colors, many socks with three colors. This is gonna be a cute combination. So whoever picked these colors out, they're gonna be the bomb, y'all. And I will show y'all pictures of this in my Group after I get done, but like I said, these won't be done on the video. On this video, these colors are the bomb. I'm just measuring out half an inch. I mean, one and a half yards. Cutting it and doing it again for the other sock. Two socks. Okay. Put them to the side, and that's all I gotta do now. After I do this, all I gotta do is sew it, and I'm done. And this sewing is so easy, y'all. And when I start my sewing class or whatever, I'm gonna start off doing. Like pillowcases are easy to do, face masks are easy to do, and these socks are easy to do. So 
I'm gonna start off doing these socks. They are so easy. Like, so you gotta do is take this. I got a whole video on how you do it, right? You, you basically cut this. I already right, cut it. Cut this in to, to the way you, the size you want. Then you just fold it, right? And then you just sew, fold it, make it even. And then you sew this right here to this. That's all you gotta do, y'all. One sew. Okay, you sew it straight down. And I use white thread all the time. People always mess their thread. No, I don't. I use white thread because white. It matches the, the two loop. So you, you go sew it all the way down to the end, then you get, and then you add the other one to the end, the other piece of uh, ribbon to the end. That's it. So you got your channel right here for your elastic. Pull this ch channel, uh, you put your elastic through here, and that's it. You tie your elastic, and you're done. Simple, simple, simple. And then that there's over with, it's beautiful. I do two of those already. If I get two blue, and then you want white. So it's just one easy line, a long sew, all the way down, and you're done. How easy is that, y'all? It takes about 10 minutes. Do some socks. If you don't want to do them, go to my website. Purchase from me. I like doing them. <laughs> I like satin. Um, I like the satin or the silk. What's the satin silk ribbon? I love it. It's prettier. But they didn't have any. But you really can't tell. The white's kind of it's different. Oh, it's, it's just got lines in it. It's different. It's made different. But, um... I like the satin, silky ribbon. Any questions, y'all? I'm talking about my mouth getting dry. I'm gonna show y'all the patches in a minute after I finish doing this last uh, ribbon. I got 110 people watching. Hey, hey, y'all. How you doing? How your Sunday? Can you give me some like? I got a 94 likes. Can y'all go ahead and thumbs up this video, please? So that's done. I got all that's done out the way. And I got another pair of socks I need to be doing. So I'm going to cut that too while I'm on the phone with you. Why I'm on the live with y'all. Because I can get this out the way. She wants the maroon and burgundy. I mean, she wants burgundy and black. It's going to be cute too. And this is going to be a size small. So um, this right here is easy to do because these are um one. This is four yards, right? So what I do is I just go ahead and cut. It's two yards per sock that I'm going to be using because it's this is two yards for this one per sock, two yards for this one per sock because I need four yards. So that means this whole row is done. So it's basically I'm using, it's easy to do because it's four, four yards in here and I'm only needing two, two. So it, this will be done. That's, that's easy. So let me go ahead. This, the machines are still going as we can see right now. Is that purple? Almost done. Can I see that? Oh, let me turn y'all around. Make sure y'all see it. Look at that. We all, that's 29 minutes almost over with and then him he doing his skin that's almost over with too that's eight minutes so it's almost it's about to be done right right now did that part right there is done it's gonna be stopping so i might as well get ready to change the color to purple and that's only one minute for the purple okay it's about to stop in a minute y'all i might as well not even sit down Um, so now I'm going to do this again. Four yards of this. One. How about enough? I don't think I got enough. Two. Three. Four. I don't think I'm going to have four yards. For I'm going to have another pack. I get this um, Tulu from Hobby Lobby, y'all. Hobby Lobby has this. That's four for this. I'm going to have four yards. It's always. I know I don't. Watch. One. Nope. Two. Three. Hey, four. It's almost four. You think I was going too fast? I can't believe I never use a whole spool of a ribbon to the end. One. Two. Oh, that's too short. That's like a half. I'm missing too much. I can't use this. I'm gonna put fold this back up, roll this back up, and then get another um whole another spool. I knew that was gonna work. So. I get a full look of, of this. Like I said, Hobby Lobby the only one that's carry this. Let me go ahead and change this thread. Okay, so now we need wood. For one minute, ugh. I just wish, like I said, I got to digitize. I wish, um, sometimes, like I said, sometimes you digitize your good, sometimes you just got too many color changes. So that's the thing you gotta make sure. Sometimes I take the stuff back to her, like, like, look, no, we need to do this better, because I'm not gonna have to change these colors every, every one minute. So you gotta just talk to your digitizer. Let them know, make sure they know what they're doing. This can be a pain in the butt. 
changing your thread every time you turn around. So when, instead of just doing purple here, purple there, they should do all the purple at the same time, right? Girl. This, oh, it is probably. It's only, it's only one purple in here, so my bad, y'all. I'm done talking bad. There's <laughs> only one purple in here, which is this right here. That's all it is. That purple right here, and then it'd be done. But no, it's not because it's purple right here, too. So she should have did this purple right here and this purple at the same time, but I can't. She, she didn't do it that way. So I got to do this purple first, and then I guess I got to... Or maybe it is. I don't know. We'll see. Got to put the purple in there already. See how quick it is to change the thread? She uses felt sometimes. I used to use felt, but now I use teal. I did use felt when I first started. Felt is okay when you're starting off. I mean, you could, you could use felt, period. People use felt. But I like this because it's more thicker, it's stronger. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's doing an arm patch. Um... And they can't do the purple on the shirt yet because the shirt ain't made. <laughs> so yeah, my bad. So yeah, here's the purple right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Almost done with the face. That's the background. The, the, uh, uh, look at my, my. So now, oh, I gotta get some more, um, some more tulu. Yeah, I'm hungry, but I can't eat nothing yet because I'm about to go to this. Like I said, I've got this meet and greet to go to. And I get to eat there. We're having a potluck. So I got to go to the store and get what I got to get. I'm taking a punch. I ain't have time to cook nothing. So I'm taking the, the, my punch bowl. And my punch, my, you know, the pop sprite and the punch, food punch. Make, us, make a little punch. We don't know if we're going to spike it or not. We're going to see how that works. Might spike it. So this is one. Oh. Oh, shoot. I have not done any bummies um, lately. No, I haven't had, because I did have an order for them, and I think I did one like a month ago, but I haven't been doing any other ones unless I get an order, because I haven't been able to do nothing lately but orders, y'all. Somebody asked me if I did any bummies. Bummies are for the babies. They are so cute. I started making those, and they are so cute. Okay, so hold on. Let me see. One. Two. Three. Four yards. Let me sure I did that right because I was kind of messed up here. Um, so that's four. So I'm done with those two. Now I'm gonna cut the ribbon. Black and more burgundy. Thanks, Dim. Excuse me, got my back, girl. You asking them questions, but I'm sorry if I ain't see them. Thank you. I like this dress too. I was like, let me get cute today. Put on a cute little dress. It's so hot in here in Ohio, but I can't complain. I love the heat. I'm a summer baby. I use Embrilliance. Embrilliance for my embroidery. One, two, two yards. Like I said, it's only four yards right here, so we'll be even. I'm so glad I can get this done, y'all. I'm getting some work done. Talking to y'all, answering your questions. Q&A with me. You can ask me questions about anything, y'all. You can ask me questions about Etsy, sublimation, embroidery, whatever. I try to get one of these videos out a week. And sorry I don't have the times because I don't know what time I'm going to pop up because I have a busy life. I'm so sorry about that. So I don't want to give y'all time. See, it's empty. All done. And I don't show for that time. So I just pop up whenever I can. I got to get my life together. Maybe one day I'll be able to give y'all time. <laughs> exact time when I'm coming on. Cutting off the edge. Not both of my machines stopped. So now I gotta go ahead and change both threads. I'm gonna do that now, get it out the way, and then I can go, ooh, this is ready for that gold, that gold and purple. Look, see, now we done with the um purple. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. Now it's time for the gold. That's how the gold look, right? And it's the purple. Why in the world did it stop? It's not done. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm tripping. Like, why did it stop, but it's gonna be black hair up there? I'm like, wait a minute, is my, my machine broke? But no, it's gonna be black up there, y'all, okay? So see, I was about to get scared. So that's it right there. 
next to go, 17 minutes. It's gonna come out looking like this. Bad out. Okay, so I'm about to change it to the gold real quick. Come on now, turn it over. Where's my gold? My gold is, this is Madeira thread. I love Madeira. It's M-A-D-E-I-R-A. I love the thread. And I like the big spools of it, you get a lot. Like I said, I bought those on my six needle machines, but I'm able to use this big thread in my small machine, my one needle machine, because I have these little spool holders, I mean thread holders, right here in the back. I got from Joann's. They're kind of expensive at Joann's. So if I was you, I would go to Amazon and get them. Just FYI. Just an FYI. Try to save y'all some money. Okay, so now that's done. I just wasted all that thread for no reason. Push the button. I'm just about to go ahead to my gold. I come over here. Let's see what he's working with. He got the brown and orange done. Now we got to do the black, little piece of black, which is going to be one minute, under one minute. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like these minutes. Why is it? I have not, I've been had these machines for like a year now. I have had the service, everything's working out good. I love the machines, I have had no problems out of them. But I know you gotta have them serviced sometimes, so I might have to get the service soon just to make sure nothing goes wrong with them. But I tell you, I'm, this P800 is a beast. I have had problems with my other machine getting it, getting it together, but I thought I took it to the shop, everything cool. But I have not had a problem with this, uh, um, six, what is it, P, -E P -E what is it, P-800. They're both made by brothers. Just cut some of this thread off real quick. And the one thing about the other machine over there that's working over there, you don't have to worry about getting a jump thread because it's our, it take care of that. But this one, you gotta cut the jump thread, okay? So you don't gotta worry about the jump thread over there. ready to go. Shane! Shane! Sorry. Talk to my son. So that, I'm going to do the black right there for one minute and I'll be back with him. Let's get the gold going over here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now over here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this burgundy, um, burgundy thread. Three, three, three. Ribbon for my socks. Oh, I know. Every time I see your name, Shane, Shane I be thinking of my son's name. The only difference between your name and her, his name is the E and the A at the end. So I'm like, every time I see Shayna's name, I'm like, is that my son? Oh, no, that's Shayna. <laughs> and my daughter's name is Shayla. So one, two. Another two. And I'm done with cutting. So like I said, now when I get back from my meet and greet, what I gotta do is put these mugs on the sewing machine and I'll be done. Like it takes about five minutes, not even probably five minutes. Well, about five minutes to sew both socks. Right? And then I seal it with the, my lighter. Like heat seal it, take the ribbon before you do anything. Heat seal it with the um heat, so you don't have to worry about this. And then you um get the, I use, let me show y'all the um, oh my rib, my, Elastic at. I use a thin elastic and I don't use this. I tried to sew this crap before. I don't sew it no more. I just tied her elastic now. So now I use I use this elastic, the size elastic right here. And when I get done, I just tie it. And, it, and it stretch it, make sure it don't break, it's done. So if you need elastic, and I don't know what size this is. See how that how it is. You can use a bigger elastic if you want to too, but that's what I use. And that's it, y'all. And I'll be done. Now tonight, I gotta do these when I come back and I gotta do the Spider-Man shirt. I got a lot of work to do. Okay, the moving machine. Oh, I said, why did it stop? Now I can show y'all this real quick too. See, my bobbin thread is out. Ooh, look at my carpet. Got thread everywhere. See, now it says the um the bobbin thread is almost out. That means out. That means it's out, out. Okay. I don't know why it says it's almost out. It should say it's out. 
So let me show you how I do it. How I take, I got, got my little drill down here with my already, my bobbin thread already together. Already ready. So I got it. What I got to do is basically cut the thread so I can bring the thing up. Okay, and then it start back out when I finish changing it. About, you don't got to worry about mess, nothing messing up because it's going to be all right. Because you, you can go back a couple stitches. I keep these because I use this for my sewing machine, my regular sewing machine when I'm sewing. And I can put, I can go ahead and put more thread on that for my um thing. So I can't hold this camera and hold this at the same time because I got to show y'all. I, mean, I can't do it, but maybe, maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Ooh, maybe I can't. So it goes this way. No, I can't do it this way. But it's, I basically put this in here. But I got to make sure it's flipped on the right side. And I got to hold it. And I just basically twirl it through here. So well, maybe I can show y'all. I got to make sure it's on the right side. So yep, it's, I just push it in there. Then bring it through here. And that's it. It's easy. I can't really show you because my hand in the way. But yeah. It's easy peasy. Cover it up. Put the tray back up. Put the hoop back on there. Now, this is much easier than threading the 60 new machine, y'all. Now, 60 new machine, ooh, that threading ain't no joke. I mean, I, I'm used to it now, but this one right here is much easier than doing a 60 new machine. So, now what I need to do right now, I'm going to go back a couple stitches because I, um, just because I want to. You don't have to, but I do. So, you just push that button. I just push. I hope y'all see it. Then, I'm going to go back 10 stitches, right? 10, go back 10. So, I can go back a little bit. I'm going to go back another 10 just in case. Then, I push OK. This, this, little, this, the one, this the one I use right here, say front or back stitch. Then I just go ahead and push the button, bring the needle, the needle down. And just go ahead and start back up where it left off, y'all. Hundred six people watching. If you try by big, larger than your machine can handle, you must likely won't be able to open easily. What you mean? Larger what? She just has to make sure she buys the embroidery file size. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you buy embroidery, I mean, it comes in more than one size, okay? It comes in like four by four, five by seven, six by nine. So you gotta choose the one you have to choose to, um, that you can fit in your machine. Like this one, the five by seven, so you choose the five by seven. Over there, if it's six by nine, so you just pick the six by nine. But they come in different file types too. I use the PS. They have different file types. Okay, so this is now got to do gold for his shirt. I hope they're doing a the shirt and the pants. It looks like it's a shirt, but I think that's it's the whole outfit, okay? So now I'm going to do his whole outfit in gold. So let's, I'm using gold over there. So now i got another shade of gold right here. I'm going to just use it for this machine over here. So it's good to have more than one thread, spool of thread when you got more than one machine. If you'll be sitting here looking crazy, sorry. Like, oh my God, I got to wish that gold is done. So I learned that the hard way. <laughs> And I always use gold and purple because I always have liquid colors to do. So I made sure I had a couple, a couple of purples and a couple of golds. Okay. Y'all, I can't wait to go to this, um, this meet and greet because I'm starving. I need nothing today but a honey bun. I wonder why I stay so skinny. I need to eat, y'all. Okay, so... Okay, I just did that. Just did that. Okay, I'm done with the socks. I don't have anything else to do right now. I could get the um sorry. I could get the um the shirts ready. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I got that. I got that done. Got that done. Okay, I got four things that I'm gonna have done by today so I can ship out tomorrow. Two pair of socks and the two um and the two um, uh, patches, that's done, well, almost done. That shirt, I don't really wanna prep that while I'm on the video because I'm still, even though I've done a video on how to do a shirt on my 60, to check that out. I might've had a boo-boo, but I made it through. Y'all helped me through it. So I'm still hesitant on using that machine when it comes to shirts. Every time I use that machine, I get scared. I know Shayna and somebody else on here got the 60, to, I get scared. And I think, I don't know if um, teacher craft and teacher still on here. Y'all don't know who, I've watched y'all videos. Girl, I still get scared when I get on that dog on the needle machine. I just know it's going to be a boo-boo, but I don't have boo-boos, but I just be scared of my boo-boo. I'm going to have a boo-boo. Um, I got the Spider-Man on that. And I think the little boy is four. 
I put a four in the Spider Man on here. His name is Bryce. Hey, from California, Yvonne. Yvonne. And I can't wait to do those shoes, y'all. I got the bling bling shoes I gotta do. That's not due until the, I think the third of the month. I gotta get started on that though, because not that long. I mean, I think it's the 16th. Let me go check. I gotta make, get that together, because it's gonna take me a minute to do. And I'll be, I'll be pressing late like a mug, y'all. All I don't gotta do until the 12th of the month. I gotta get started on these shoes though, because that's gonna be my first, not my first time. My first time doing a whole shoe. I've done a shoe. I just did the, the top of the shoe. But now I'm doing a whole shoe this time. So this is gonna be my first time doing it. So y'all wish me on wish me luck on that. Wish me luck. What else can I be doing? I'm talking to y'all right now. Do I wanna go ahead and do these socks? That's due on September 1st, which is Wednesday. That is what pink and silver. But I need to she still I got I inboxed the lady. She I'm gonna see if she wants dark pink or light or dark light pink or dark pink. So I gotta get her to email me back about that because I don't know what color pink she wants. The machines are still going. I don't know if, what time is it. <gasps> y'all, it's two fourteen. I gotta go. Why y'all didn't tell me it was two fourteen? I gotta go, y'all. I gotta be at this meet and greet at three o'clock. That time went by so freaking fast. Oh my gosh. I gotta go to the store. Y'all supposed to remind me, so I'm gonna show y'all real quick where, where we at. We right here. Yeah, I gotta be somewhere at three o'clock. I, need, I ain't going go to the store yet to get the dang on punch and stuff. So I'm going to stop the video. Sorry, I thought, so, I thought we, we was, I've been on here for how long? Golly, this time went by so fast. Okay, I got to go, y'all. I got to be square three. I got to go to the grocery store and get the punch and stuff for the for the meat breed that I'm supposed to be going to. And it's 2 for 10. So um, I might come back on tonight to finish this. If y'all want me to, I'll probably come back on tonight because I'll be back tonight. I'll think about it. So see y'all later. Sorry. Bye.